Welcome to JSA TV, where we are covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations with leaders in digital infrastructure. My name is Emily Scherer, Scherer for JSA, and I am joined today by Gauri Potdar. She is the Chief Commercial Officer of GPC Infrastructure. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. This is so exciting. Yeah, I'm Thank excited you. to have this conversation and hear more about GPC infrastructure. So for Perfect. our viewers who do not know, can you okay. tell us what you what you do in this space? Yeah, absolutely. So GPC infrastructure provides data centers with on-site energy as a service. We do that by owning and operating behind the meter natural gas power generation. So what our focus is to provide an easy button, an alternative to the utility that is highly reliable. and our focus is to try to cover the entire value chain for on-site power generation. So that means we cover physical gas supply, the pipeline interconnect, the gas contract for both energy and transportation. We handle all of the facility design. We handle the air permitting, the procurement, engineering, um, construction, operations, and commodity risk management. So a lot of things have to go into play to provide a seamless integrated solution for the data center operator. And our job is to make that as seamless and as uh, easy as possible. And so that's our value proposition, is we provide on-site power as a service. Um, we are energy veterans, we're backed by energy capital, and uh, we're here to make power a, um, a, a, a resolve the power constraints that yes. are facing this industry. And it's such an important conversation right now, and that's yeah. what I want to ask you about next, are the power constraints. So why yeah. do people need energy as a service right now more than ever? Yeah, I mean, you know, we've had the collision of two different um, forces at the same time. Um, the utility infrastructure that was built out in the 1970s, the transmission and distribution infrastructure that was built out is, you know, strained at the time when we've had major forces in electrification that are um, happening. We have not just AI power demand, we have electrification broadly for manufacturing vehicles, right? So the power infrastructure is getting hit from multiple areas and that's creating broader constraints. And that manifests themselves in interconnection queues. So data centers have three, four, five year wait times to be able to access power. Um, and the utilities are struggling with how do I deal with this influx of requests? They re are required to serve load, right? But they're required to do that in an orderly way. And what that means is that speed to market, that is what data centers are trying to do and being able to deliver solutions to their tenants as quickly as possible, those get those timelines get extended longer and longer. And so how do you solve that? And for us, the right solution is to bring the power to the data center mm -hmm. and to be able to get them powered and energized as quickly as possible. Yeah, it's so important and something that a lot of data center operators are looking for right now. So yeah, that's yeah. Is such a critical need that, that we're talking about here. And um, the next thing I want to ask is uh, natural gas is yeah. the, the particular solution that you're bringing. Why huh. natural gas? What, what are the benefits of natural gas? Yeah, I mean, natural gas has a lot of different benefits. Um, first, natural gas is truly plentiful in the United States, right? We produce 25% of the global natural gas supply. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, Permian Basin, the Marcellus, um, all across the country in places that often overlap with key data center markets, um, like, you know, Ohio, Pennsylvania, there's a lot of gas available, number one. Um, number two, the gas pipeline infrastructure is vast. There's, you know, 2.6 million miles of gas transmission distribution infrastructure. Um, there are... Um, the, the, that inter, the way the transmission uh, infrastructure for power is constrained, gas supply is ubiquitous and broadly unconstrained, right? So by using natural gas that's available, that's in places where data centers want to be, um, you can now have many more locations that open up for data center operators in terms of being age adjacent to tier one, tier two primary markets um, because gas supply is available. Um, and then finally, gas supply truly is a responsible solution, mm -hmm. right? If you can capture the waste heat in deploying a thermal solution, gas power generation can be 85% efficient. Compare that to the grid, which is 35, 40% efficient because you lose a lot of generation in transmission and distribution. You, I mean, you lose a lot of efficiency in doing that, right? So right. gas is reliable. Gas is, when you can use it efficiently, can have half the emissions of the grid. Um, and you can blend in 
renewable natural gas, or you can blend in um, hydrogen and run it through that same equipment. And all of a sudden you have a carbon neutral approach to power generation, right? So we think the profile of gas and being able to provide base load prime power to the data center is really unmatched from a generation fuel perspective. Um, and it can be deployed quickly. Yeah, right. so many fantastic proof points that you've just shared there. So thank you for, for telling us more about that. Yeah. And 2025, what does that look like for GPC infrastructure? What's on the horizon? What are you looking forward to? Well, we are really excited to uh, introduce ourselves to this industry. Um, we come from the energy commodity world. Um, we've been in power, natural gas, and infrastructure doing this a very long time. And we're really excited to bring both energy capital and our expertise to uh, provide on-site power generation and find the right anchor deal for that's for our company. Um, yeah. So we're excited to talk to data center operators, um, whether they've got sites they're looking at that need power solutions or we have sites that we can bring to the table uh, where they can co-locate both power and data centers. Um, we're excited to bring some innovation too to this um, space a little bit because by utilizing the waste heat, we can provide cooling to the data center as well as power and that helps potentially offset some of their capital, um, allow allowing them to sell more compute. Um, that also uh, creates a very highly efficient thermal solution for the data center. So we're just excited to both resolve the power constraints and maybe give them more optionality and um, some bring some from innovation uh, in terms of being able to address the needs of their tenants and their customers. Yeah, absolutely. So, and this is a great show to be at, to have all of those conversations and meet the people who do need GPC infrastructure's help. So yeah, I hope you have a great rest of the show and thank you for stopping by and talking to us. Thank you so much. Uh, this was so much fun. I really appreciate all of you guys uh, supporting us and we look forward to getting more involved. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. And to all of our viewers, thanks for tuning into our interviews here at Metro Connect. Uh, happy networking.